What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I've got another swatch interview for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos and let's get started. So today I am reviewing a much requested set of polishes and that is the LA Colors Diamond Crush Collection and oh my gosh, I am so excited to share these with you guys. If you guys don't know LA Colors, it is a drugstore slash dollar store nail polish brand. I'm pretty sure they also have makeup as well. Their nail polishes are free of formaldehyde and toluene so they are technically too free. They are vegan. They are cruelty free. And honestly, I feel like their polishes tend to be hit or miss for me. But last year they came out with a set of scattered hollow jellies. No, that wasn't last year. Oh my gosh. That was like over two years ago. <gasps> well, regardless, at some point they came out with these hollow jellies and I absolutely loved them. They were incredible formulas. They were super sparkly and a lot of them went on to be like all time favorites in my collection. So when I saw that they were coming out with a new set of hollow polishes, I was really excited and honestly, Honestly, they are incredible. <laughs> so this time we have eight full coverage scattered hollows. They're all incredibly sparkly. They aren't the type of formula that you normally see from drugstore or dollar store brands where it's like half hollow pigment and half silver pigment to kind of cut down on the expense. They're fully blown hollow. But before I spoil anything else, let me just show you guys the swatches. So roll footage. As always, using a base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nails and prevent any stains. Today it is the Orly Bonder base coat, which seems to be my latest obsession. <laughs> so I'll link it in the description. So we'll start off with the lighter of the two purples in this collection. Yes, you heard that right. Obviously, I love this collection for a reason. <laughs> but really, this one is called Mermaid Mist, and it's a fairly light, slightly dusty, cool toned purple that is absolutely packed with holographic sparkle. And you can see from the first coat, it almost has this jelly vibe to it. All of these ended up giving me full coverage in two coats, but if you do like that scattered hollow jelly look, which you guys know I absolutely love, you can also do these in one coat and they also give a really good look. So you can absolutely see how this is totally packed. Like I said, there's no silver glitters in here. It is just pure hollow sparkle. So you definitely get a lot of that rainbow color in there. And of course, the more layers you add on to the nail, the more saturated that color base is going to be. And then we have the darker of the two purples. This one is called Prism and you can see it's pretty different. It's a lot more saturated of a color and it has a lot more of that pinky fuchsia kind of tone to it. And again, we have that nice sheer color coming through on the first coat. And then on the second coat, I'm able to build it up to full coverage. Now, some of these I will say will definitely need a third coat on longer nails because you might have a little bit more visible nail line, but I feel like my nails are kind of long lately. So I have a decent amount of visible nail line and I was still able to cover this up in two coats. Again, absolutely gorgeous color, absolutely packed with sparkle. Next up, we have the shade Fairy Wink, and this one is a medium pink base. Again, totally packed with that holographic glitter. And again, just a really gorgeous color, really gorgeous formula. I absolutely love the way that this one looked in one coat. And the other really cool thing about these is because they kind of have that jelly-like feel, there's no patchiness in the first coat. You do want to be relatively careful. I don't think the LA Colors brushes are the best, even though they are wider brushes. They're not particularly flat, so you got to be a little bit careful if you want to do the one coat. But as long as you're not being absolutely crazy with the brush, you can totally get one non- patchy, really smooth coat to get that jelly-like finish. And I think that's really cool. But as you can see, two coats creates a super gorgeous full coverage manicure. Next up, we have the shade Ruby Glass. And this one is a seriously stunning red. It has a little bit of a deep red coloring to it. So to me, those types of deep reds always scream fall winter. But honestly, the hollow sparkle in this really brings out that summery bright vibe. And overall, I feel like this could definitely be in any time of year color. I didn't think that I was gonna like this one as much as the red that I absolutely loved from that jelly collection a couple years back, but I think I actually ended up liking this one more. The coverage was insane. I thought it was absolutely perfect. And you can just see it really is so shimmery and bright and colorful and beautiful. And I feel like a lot of times holographic pigment gets lost 
in red colors, but this one is just so vibrant and perfect. I love it. Next up, we have the shade Shooting Star, and I thought from the bottle that this one was going to be sort of a gold glitter, but on my nails, it actually ended up looking a little bit more of like a beigey nude, or even I guess a champagne. And I think I actually ended up liking that a lot better. On the first coat, absolutely stunning jelly-like. I feel like a few of these lighter ones, you can definitely get away with wearing these as toppers, but for me, I'm definitely gonna just be wearing these as one or two coats on their own because they're just too pretty not to. But yeah, you can see, I feel like there's nothing better than a super sparkly holographic nude because it almost feels like an extension of my skin tone, my natural nail, but just with sparkle. And I just feel like that's the best vibe ever. <laughs> Next up, we have the shade Aurora Sky, which is a really beautiful teal base, again, with that holographic sparkle running throughout. And this one completely matches my little streak of hair color. So I totally love that. But in addition to that, the coverage on this one was really, really impressive. Honestly, I feel like in real life, I could definitely get away with one coat under my big lights. It definitely shows a tiny bit bit of visible nail line, but I feel like nobody would be able to see that in real life. And I was very tempted to just leave it at one coat, but I do love seeing the depth of glitter. You know, when you do multiple layers of a glittery polish, I feel like it just looks so much more packed and vibrant on the nail. And I think that really shows with this color. And again, you get a little bit more depth of that color and saturation as well. So definitely love this one in two coats. Makes me want summer ASAP. Next up, we have the shade Constellation. And this one, I'm not sure if I would classify it as a really deep gray or a black, but again, it is totally packed with that holographic sparkle. And because those hollow glitters are silver hollow, it definitely lightens it up a little bit. So even if it is black, it kind of gets lighter from that holographic pigment. And I was really excited about this one because I feel like black hollow is really hard to come by. And when you do find it, it always ends up being the really expensive brands. So seeing that there is a drugstore slash dollar store version of a black hollow I think is so exciting and awesome. And again, it's not completely dark, but I feel like with this one, you could definitely wear this as a topper over a black cream. And I think that would look amazing. Actually, I feel like I should try that ASAP. I'll show you guys on my Instagram stories when I do. And last but definitely not least, we have the shade of flashing lights. And this one I originally thought was more of a silver kind of color that also has the holographic glitters in it. But looking at it now, I feel like I definitely see a sort of icy periwinkle blue base. And I think that really shows through a lot on my nails because I am so yellow toned that it almost looks cooler toned on me. So I think this might end up looking a little bit different depending the undertones of your skin. But for me, it really does look super icy and cool and gorgeous. And again, I think this is another one of the shades that you could definitely try to wear as a topper. And I don't think it would affect the base color too much. Again, two coats for full coverage looked absolutely stunning. So here are all of the polishes together. And honestly, I feel like this snapshot of all the shades really does not do them justice. I think moving the nail around is really when these polishes shine, no pun intended, because they're just so sparkly. And the way that scattered hollow works is there's so many different like angles that no matter which way you move your hand and your nail, it's going to catch the light differently. So that's why I love Scattered Hollow the most. I think it's just the coolest finish because you always get a little bit of that rainbow sparkle everywhere you turn your hand. But yeah, I think these really look so much better in person and in video than they do in pictures. Pictures do not do these colors justice. And also, can we talk about how perfect this little color scheme is? Like, I feel like this is all of my favorite colors in a collection. Totally love that. So yeah, as you can see, these polishes are incredibly impressive. The formulas were incredible. The sparkle was incredible. The coverage was incredible. Honestly, this is another set that has 100% made its way up to an all-time favorite. Honestly, I tend to be a little bit more forgiving of super inexpensive nail polish brands just because I love the accessibility of them. So I'm not as harsh as I am. Well, I'm not really a harsh reviewer in general, but my standards aren't as harsh as they are with more expensive nail polishes. But honestly, I feel like these 
really compete with extremely high quality like indie brands. Like these are honestly extremely impressive polishes. So obviously you can get LA Colors in a bunch of different places. I personally get mine from HB Beauty Bar and they're the 13 milliliter bottles retail for $3 USD. And I also have a discount code. You can use the code Kelly to get 22% off your order there. And they also sell a bunch of other brands that I use and review all the time. So definitely recommend checking out their website. I believe they also have the hollow jellies that I loved from whenever that was. So yeah, definitely check that out if you haven't seen those polishes because they're also absolutely incredible. So yeah, I guess that's enough of my ranting, but I would love to hear from you guys. Have you tried any of these? Are you interested in trying any of them? Which one's your favorite? Let me know in the comments. We can chat about it. If you enjoy my swatch and review videos, please give this one a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. And that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Amanda. And Amanda wants to know, do you get tired of saying the same thing over and over again? For example, this polish is five free, which means free of five the dangerous chemicals, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> this is actually a great question because I have always wondered if people notice that I kind of follow a similar script in a lot of my swatch review videos. And the reason for that, well, to answer the question really quick, I actually do not get tired of it. I really enjoy it. And the reason for that is because I am a very anxious person and I really thrive on routine. Like honestly, I feel like everything in my life is extremely routine despite the fact that I like routinely change my entire color scheme on my face and hair. I always do like the exact same routine every day. And really the thing with YouTube is it's a couple of things. Like one, I feel like if I didn't have kind of a formula for how I did videos, I would be a little bit more nervous with being on camera because if I don't already know what I'm going to say, I start to sound like a doofus. <laughs> Like, I feel like you can definitely tell at the end of my videos, like when I'm doing the fun fact, that it's something I haven't thought about until I'm currently saying it and sometimes it just does not come out right. So that's one part. But then the other thing is I always try to think about every video being the first video that a person has ever seen of me. Now I know obviously like the majority of you guys who are watching the videos have watched my videos before. So you probably know some of the things that I'm gonna say like explaining what five free means that kind of thing. But honestly I always look back and like cringe at my old videos because I still get comments to this day that are like what does three free mean because I just don't explain it. So I always try to imagine that like anytime I'm doing a video, I think like a person who is watching this is watching a nail polish video for the first time, completely new to the game, doesn't know anything about it. Let me teach them as if it's like the first time. And then I figure for those of you guys who already know this stuff, like it just sounds like a part of the regular intro at this point and hopefully you guys don't mind. But yeah, I'm always trying to like get people into the hobby because it's the best hobby ever, obviously. So I try to feed as much information as possible. And then in terms of like saying stuff that's like, oh, roll footage or like today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter, blah, blah, blah. That's just honestly because I know I'm gonna stumble over my words if I don't say the same thing every time. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, to answer your question, honestly, I never get sick of it. I thrive on it. So hopefully it doesn't bother you guys too much, but I feel like you can definitely tell in my videos when I like stray from the norm, I like choke up a little bit. All right, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.